Welcome back to episode 2 of The Drunk Show, and happy Valentine's Day, Panthers. Today we're going to focus on four different types of love. Fictional love, community love, opinions on love, and most importantly, love with God. Let's get started. Hello? Spencer Hollick speaking. Who has the best pickup line? SJM Drama does. Welcome to Charm Battle. Today, we're here with Giovanni Provenzano playing the Beast, Charlotte Burks playing Belle, and Michael Marino playing Gaston. So, today, we're gonna see who can have the best pickup line, and Charlotte's gonna be the judge between the Beast and Gaston. You know, Charlotte, if you were fruit, you'd be a fine apple. <laughs> Negative 25. Hey, what? That's not bad. I thought mine up. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're I, the, it's the slight tinge of misogyny for me. We're on the topic of fruit. Are you a raisin? Because would you like to date me? Oh. <laughs> the fact that I had to think about it is promising. Um. I put a lot of effort in finding this one. I looked it up 10 seconds ago. If, if I could rearrange the alphabet, I, I'd put you and I together. I don't know if I should dock points for these being stuff that I've heard before. That's the thing. No? No, okay. You get, you get... I'm gonna give you 15. That's solid. Would I be able to get your name? Delivery! Delivery though, that confidence. Okay, I give him 15 because that was solid. I'm still in the negatives. I'm gonna negative give 100. you 50. I'm gonna give you 50. I'm <laughs> Granted, what are your other two wishes? What? You want me to be your boyfriend? Granted. What are your other two wishes? That's assuming a lot. You get zero points. You can just buy where you are. I thought this was drama club, but this must be a museum because you look like a work of art. That's good! Wait a minute! I didn't think you were gonna pull ahead, but I think I'm gonna have you in Geo Tie because he just walked off. I don't know if the camera's catching that. He's gone. But he literally walked off set. He's gone. Oh, that was good. That was good. Good game. All right, so Beauty and the Beast. March 25th, 26th, and 27th. Thank you, SJM Drama. Make sure to go check out the Beauty and the Beast musical in March. Now, it seems that Memori has a lot of opinions on love. Let's check that out with Zoe on campus. What is your biggest red flag? Probably bad hygiene. Yeah, I'd say bad hygiene. Bad. So how would you rate your hygiene? <laughs> I read mine like, like a good 9 out of 10. Okay, not sure about that one, but... <laughs> what is your perfect first date? Uh, i say like like a, like an amusement park or like a, like Dave and Buster's or something like that. Probably something like that, yeah. Who would you take on this date? <laughs> How soon is it to say I love you? I feel like... You should say I love you like after like a couple months when you like really, really love the person. So if I said it right now, would you feel uncomfortable? No. I love you. What is your biggest red flag? Um, bad people, bad vibes. Smell. So how would you rate your scent? Excellent. Are you sure about that one? Yeah, no, actually, yes. This is a very good scent. Okay. What is your perfect first date? Um, I think the movies, personally. I would say the movies or like a lunch, because then you get to know the person. What is your perfect first date? Uh, she pays for the food. So you don't get a lot of those, huh? What is your biggest red flag? Um, someone that has a big ego. Would you consider yourself to have a big ego? Um... 
No, not really. Okay. How soon is it to say I love you? Before you know what it means. Um, I think that's a valid answer. And then maybe like, you know, a few months, like maybe, maybe three or four months. Okay. Thank you, Zoe. Now it's time to interview some of our campus ministers for a Kairos announcement and learn more about what they do here at Memorial. Today I'm here with two campus ministers, Jacob Levy and Alyssa Askins. Welcome. Nice to you. So today we're just going to get to know you more, why you did campus ministry. So first question is, why did you guys do campus ministry? Well, I did campus ministry because um, I really wanted to bring the faith aspect alive on campus and bring Jesus' presence alive. Um, and it's just a really fun class and we get to um, interact with each other and like do it all for things. Gather some information about you guys. So Jacob, I heard you're quite the Tetris player. Let's talk about that. How'd you get into it and why? Why Tetris? So truthfully, um, I mean, we so obviously, as you all know, uh, we have iPads in school. Um, and sometimes during class, um, your mind can wander. Um, it can lead you to, you know, think about different things and play, you know, games. Um, and I just, I, I just found out, found out about Tetris from one of my friends, and then um, it really just became a competition. Who yeah. could get the highest score? Um, and not to brag or anything, but right now I do have the highest score at yeah. the school. Want to give a shout out to that friend, um, Yassine? <laughs> I have the highest score. Yassine, <laughs> um, okay. But yeah, um, it's. It's, both, it's basically just, it's more, it, it was for fun at first, but now it's definitely very competitive just to see who gets who's better. That's great. And we talk about retreats. We have one coming up, Kairos, for juniors and seniors. Let's talk about that. Should yeah. they go on it? Why? When? Yeah, Kairos is um, going to be like one of like the most, like the best retreat like that Memorial has to offer. So I'm like really excited to um, be able to like go on it and meet it. Um, hopefully we can live up to the standards. We're actually having people, um, alumni come back and help us um, since like we didn't miss those years um, not having Kairos. But I'm really excited for, for Jacob? Well, yeah, so um, Kairos is one of the, like, if not, like, the, like, it's like the, the pillar of, like, memorial uh, retreats. Like, that is, like, the retreat that everybody talks about, juniors and seniors. Like, it's, like, it's the most well-known one, so I definitely recommend uh, any students that are interested, absolutely go. Um, and there's two, um, there's two dates where they can go, so there's one in March and one in April. Um, so whichever one works best with their time, uh, I would absolutely recommend it to go. It's great. Thank you guys. Valentine's Day doesn't just have to be about relationships. It can also be about community love. So up next is a positive sticky note chain. So the reason why I chose to keep moving forward is because my grandpa told me that whatever trials you go through in life, it's always best to keep pushing through it. And people nowadays are going through so many trials in their life that I believe it's best to just keep on doing what you're doing and do what you love, no matter what. Thank you. Okay, so I got keep moving forward. I really like this message. I think it can help me through the week. And I think I'll keep this, put it somewhere where I can see it every day and just be reminded to keep moving forward. And so what I wrote was, you're doing great. I think it's just a good message for someone just to have reassurance and just let them know that they're doing a good job. You're doing great. This makes me feel really good because sometimes I, t I tend to focus on the things that I'm not doing well on. And so um, when, when someone tells me that I'm doing great, it helps me to focus on the things that positively so um, thank you very much and I have something for someone I would like to give them um, remember the specialness that is you I think that every human being has a specialness and, and a beauty about them that is unique to them and so um, that's their spirit or their soul and so I want that person to feel feel that specialness when they get this Okay, so I got remember the specialness that is you. Um, 
I guess that gives me confidence and makes me feel special and that makes me feel good is what I would say. And then I wrote, I believe in you because I think it's important to have confidence in yourself and I want you to know that I believe in you. I'm the first one the chain I received my sticky note. I believe in you. This makes me feel like that I can do whatever I want because I have people that believe in me, even people that I don't know, because as a community, we should always support each other. That's it for episode two of the drunk show. I hope you have an amazing, blessed day, campers.